covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Astronomers have stumbled across the nearest black hole to us yet. The void lies at the heart of a stellar system just a thousand light years away, and indications to its location are visible to the naked eye. A team of researchers were observing the HR 6819 star system from the European Southern Observatory in Chile as part of a wider survey studying binar star, binary star systems, and they stumbled across a third object. Spectrographic data revealed that one of the stars orbited an invisible companion every 40 days. Meanwhile, the second star sits much farther away from the first. They now believe that the HR 6819 is not a double system, but a triple system, one that contains two stars that are both around the six solar masses, and a third object that is at least 4.2 solar masses. That number is much too high for the object to be a neutron star. Thomas Ravinius, first author of the study, said, An invisible object with a mass at least four times that of the Sun can only be a black hole. If the researchers are indeed correct, the object will be the closest black hole from Earth discovered yet. Peter Hadrava, the co-author of the research, said the team was totally surprised when we realized that this is the first stellar system with a black hole that can be seen with the unaided eye. As a point of clarity, the black hole itself isn't visible to the naked eye, only the stars are. For those in the Southern Hemisphere hoping to catch a glimpse, it's located in the Telescopium constellation and will be best viewed during a clear night, and two fuzzy bright pinpricks should be discernible without binoculars or a telescope. Although the object seems to have been near us all along, it has escaped detection until now. Not only is the black hole pretty small, it's also very quiet, meaning it doesn't spew jets of electromagnetic radiation, unlike the supermassive ones at the centers of galaxies guzzling up the stars. The team has only managed to infer its existence from the wobble of the stars that orbit it. The team is hoping to capture images of the orbit to further establish the distance and mass of the system's objects.